Now we're back with Godfrey Dambuleni, a talented sculptor from Salt River who uses recycled metal to create incredible artwork. And now he's showing us how he gives recycled used Nespresso capsules new life as art. Godfrey, we were chatting to you earlier, of course. I was watching your skills. You work fast, man. <laughs> this is almost the, the, our fish. We're calling it the Espresso Fish, I believe. Yeah. Its name's going to be Lucian. Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm absolutely loving your progress so far. But take me through the inspiration behind it. Obviously, I heard you speaking to G about how you get expired to do these pieces. But what happens after that, the actual process itself? How long does it take? Because I see you're busy knitting the um, capsules together and then you sort of like uh, transferred on after that. Yeah. Uh, basically, you see, this type of art that uh, I do, it's not about me. We are also creating for other people. Because it's like, uh, you see, putting the strings. It's somebody uh, who's supposed to be doing this. So it's creating of employment for other people as well. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't actually have to do this yourself. Yes. You've got a team working I've with you. I've got a team working with me. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. So yes. more jobs, more, more, jobs, more passion yeah. to be explored, for of sure. course. I absolutely love that, man. So, I mean, obviously, we're talking about something that's really important to a lot of us, to me especially being a nature boy at heart. The fact that we're creating something out of used materials and recycling is so important right now. But why is it important to you? Uh, to me, you know, for environmental friendly, people, they are throwing away things each and every time. So if we can look in about the next 10 to 15 years, how will be the world be without us recycling? So it's better for us to recycle so that we always keep the environment clean ah. for the next generation. I couldn't agree with you more. And on top of that, not just recycling, but creating something so beautiful out of it is just a blessing on top of that. I mean, looking at the creations that you have made. I've got to ask you a question because it does look challenging. It looks quite hard. And 25 years worth of experience is what results in this. Yeah. But I want to challenge you. How difficult do you think it would be to teach me to do something like this? Do you think I could ever go at trying to rap one of these? You can. It's only a matter of time <laughs> and uh, patience for you. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so could I maybe just, I mean, uh, it doesn't have to be the final piece, but do you think I could maybe lay one ring on the fish? Yeah, you can. Have my hands on this? You right? can. Do you want to you help me out? Let me, let me try my hand out. at this. Okay. <laughs> let me just reach over the table there. Okay. Okay, so we've got uh, Lucian, our fish over here. So what, what you basically do right now, okay. it's like you attach it here. All right. Then you move it. Okay, okay, there. let me attach so it So you attach it to this one here. And uh, Godfrey, I do apologize if I ruin your art piece, but I'm no problem. putting the most effort that I can. So this gets wrapped around here. Yes. All right, just like that. Yeah. Then this one must go in between here. Yeah. Oh, so in between that fin. All right, so yeah. you actually got to get quite involved here, getting yeah. the metal through this. Mzanza, you guys can see me <laughs> trying this out. It's clearly not as easy <laughs> as uh, Godfrey made it look. Ah, there we go. We've got to knit it in there. You knit it in here. So this whole part must come through here. But now, first, you have to attach it here so that you move with it. So when it's moving, because we want to close this gap here, we don't want to leave the gaps. So you have almost like this perfect yes. scale oh, creation. It goes like this, yeah. Ah, so okay. See. I got you. Let me try myself out here. Now, Godfrey, how long would something like this take from start to finish to actually create? Uh, from start, because normally I don't work it like uh, on my own. Uh, I've got a crew, about seven guys that I work with on daily basis. Uh, so the other one will be just punching the, the walls. The pieces, yeah. Yes. And uh, it's like from start, you have to take out the coffee. Oh, so there is one okay, guy who has okay. to take out the coffee. And that coffee, we take it to the gardens. People, they use it for manure. Oh, like a so, fertilizer and a manure yeah, back so into the ground. Back into the ground, so nothing to waste. Oh, Everything, that is incredible. Yeah. So your entire process is <laughs> yeah. just giving back, creating back, jobs, yeah, doing sustainable sure. things. Absolutely love it, Godfrey, of course, and I'm absolutely looking forward to the end creation. I think I'm going to leave this in your hands, though, because, yeah, this is a lot easier than it looks. <laughs> so I look forward to the end product. Of course, you guys can see it later on at the end of the show. But as you can see, Godfrey's an incredible artist, of course. And interestingly, his sculptures have their own energy, too. And if you're in Cape Town and would like to see more of Godfrey's sculptures, then, of course, head over to his Mixed Ideas studio in Salt River, where he's performing so much more of this magic with the rest of his team. Godfrey, absolute magic, man. Let's oh, get back to this. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>